Okay, here we go with part three. Okay, I've got my my blank drawing all laid out. I've got my title block. I've got my guidelines. I've got my starting point right here. Okay, now what I'm going to do, remember from, from my evaluation, I've decided, now I'm not going to go with this layout, but I have decided that I'm going to make my board 10 inches by 16 inches. So what I need to do from this 10 inches, I need to take half of that. So I'm going to go 5 inches up. In the 16, I'm going to go half of that. I'm going to go 8 inches over. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my architectural scale and I'm going to measure over 8 inches. And I'm going to turn it vertically from my starting point right here. And I'm going to measure up 5 inches. So I've got to mark it 5 inches and I've got to mark it 8 inches. All I'm going to do now is get my horizontal line drawn lightly across the board because remember that five inches that, that takes care of the front view and the right side view we talked about that back in the multi view drawing lesson and then I'm gonna bring T square and angle up and I'm gonna draw a nice light guideline all the way up because that takes care of front view and top view and now all I need to do is I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna darken in these lines because this is basically the outside of my glue up. Now I don't have any kind of a design in here yet. I don't have the design put in yet, but I am going to have the front of my board laid out. Okay. Now, front view, top view, right side view. Remember that I have to have a space between to kind of separate those views. So again, kind of like always, I'm going to go with a half an inch here and a half an inch here. Then I can draw a light guideline here, and I can draw a light guideline here, and that's going to separate that front view from the right view and the front view from the top view. I've got these. Now, any of these boards, whenever you glue them up, if I look at this board from the right hand side, typical board thickness that you're going to that I'm going to plane these boards down for you after you do your glue up is going to be three fourths of an inch. Remember, we are doing these half scale. So if I'm looking at three-fourths of an inch on my ruler, I need to go half of that. So I'm going to count out, and I'll tell you right now, half of three-fourths is three-eighths. So I'm going to, from my thickness of my board, from my top view and my side view, I'm going to go one, two, three-eighths, because three-eighths is half of three-fourths. So I'm going to count over three-eighths of an inch. Watch, I'll show you. I'm going to count one, two, three-eighths, and I'm going to make a mark. So that, that just shows me, using my half scale, that 3 8 is half of 3 fourths. And I'm going to do the same thing for the top view, because if I look at that from the side or the top, it's the same. So I'm going to count out 1, 2, 3 8 I'm going to make a mark, and there's the thickness. So now all I really have to do is come in, and I have to darken in that line and this line. There's my top view. And I'm going to come in and darken in this line and this line and there's my right side view I can go ahead and cap off the ends of those because that is that board looking at it from the top and these looking at it from that edge so now I have my basic layout I have my front top right side view the next thing that I need to do I need to dimension my basic board just so I'll know when I go back into the wood shop how big of a board, how big of boards I need to cut. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the length of the board. I'm going to do extension line here and extension line here. I want you to remember that extension lines don't touch. So when you do extension when you do extension lines, make sure they don't touch the object and then from that extension line, I'm going to do a dimension line here and here. Remember dimension lines have to have that arrow leader on them on both ends, arrow leader touches off the extension line, and now something that you need to understand. I'm making this board 16 inches, and even though I'm drawing it half scale, I want to dimension it the full scale, because I, when I read this drawing, I want to know, when I have it back in the shop with me, and it's my working drawing, I want to know that that board is going to be 16 inches long whenever I cut it on the radial arm saw and get ready to glue it up. And then the same thing on the side view here. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go here with some extension lines. 
I'm going to make double sure that my extension lines don't touch. And then I'm going to get my T square and my angle, and I'm going to do vertical, a dimension line for this vertical measurement. I'm going to put arrow leaders on it. Don't forget to do those. And then again, if this is five inches high, remember from the drawing, if it's five inches high and I'm doing my double scale, it's 10 inches is what I'm going to build it. So that's the dimension that I'm going to put on. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go 10 inches. That's that. Now I have to dimension the thickness and then that this part of the drawing will be completed. So I'm going to do a couple more extension lines here and here. And then remember from our first from our first multi-view block drawing that we did, if you've got a tight spot like that, it's okay to come in and do these arrow leaders pointing in this way because there's not room inside there to dimension it. And remember, we, we laid this out 3 8 but 3 8 doubled for our half scale is going to be 3 4 and that's the finished thickness that your boards are going to be. So we're actually going to put the dimension on there that the finished drawing is going to be. So there you've laid out your front, top, and right side at half inch scale. Now, remember, if you're only going to want your board to be 6 by 12, then you're going to lay out your drawing 3 by 6 because that's half inch scale. If you wanted it to be 8 inches, which would be okay, by 14 inches, then remember your drawing is going to be 4, oops, is 4 by 7 because any time that you do that half scale, you need to make sure that you have both dimensions, all right? So that's the end of part three.